loved to yeah. come up by the pond, Luke especially, because he loves to harass the fish. I think he feels that they're his playmates, and he can't figure out why they won't come out and play with him. <laughs> what I had was a smaller pond. In fact, this is like the third or fourth pond I've had in large. Oh, really? And okay. every time I, I want it bigger and better, and this man has hit it. So, Dad, we're in Titusville, by Space Coast, right? Space Coast, Titusville, right near to Cape Kennedy. And he's been down there, what, eight years now? I guess so. It adds up so fast, I can't hardly believe it, but <laughs> I think that's right. And I'm Greg Whitstock, the Pond Guy. This is my channel, Greg Whitstock, the Pond Guy, and it's all about showcasing how people live the aquascape lifestyle. And in this young man's case, my dad builds people the aquascape lifestyle down here in the Space Coast, Titusville, Florida. Let's go check out your pond, Pond Father Water Features. We came in, and we blasted through this pond with about 20 of us in two days <laughs> we built a pond that would normally take oh maybe a week but to most people looking at it they would have assumed it would take maybe a month right well we had every golf cart in the whole area circling us it was fun yeah all right so this is an rv park so people bring their rvs down from the north and park them here in the south and this is what how, six years how long have you been here right there. oh yeah there's a pond, a little miniature pond. yeah that's Dave's house, right? That's Dave's old house. I remember meeting him. Was that six years ago we built that pond? Six years ago. Okay. Yeah. We want to clean the pond out twice since then because it's such a good design. It doesn't need to be cleaned very often. Okay. I see your house. Plants have really grown in. Very nice. Boy, it's so thick. It's like a jungle over there, Pop. Barely see it. Jungle most yard in the entire park. That's awesome. Home sweet home. Titusville style. Fun place to be. You got your Buckeye sign out. Hey, your spear's not running. I know. That's it. That. Shoemaker's shoes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like the fish playing in the current. Oh, yeah, exactly. So you said that yesterday they spawned down here a little bit? Yeah, yeah so that's some of the, that was This morning you could see there was foam all over the... In, right. And so, hey, you still got a tropical lily down yeah. here. I thought you said they died back with well, the cold. I'm not having blooms right now. Oh, jeez. That's yeah. still from Chicago. That's still pretty darn good. I love my spillway bowl. Uh-huh. Practically can't see it. Oh, yeah. A little bit of winter damage there, but... Uh, there's some bromeliads in that bowl. They're actually an air plant, but they do great in water too. The entire edge of the pond is practically slowly being hidden by native vegetation. Why don't you go ahead and describe to the viewers what we did here? Here you go. Okay. Actually, Greg and Ed were down here a long time ago, but while this was just nothing but lawn. And there's a double bay window. There's a bay window right there. And that was a bay window, but we put a door there. And then I was going to just put steps down leading to the pond. And Ed suggested, naturally, come up with a good idea to make a little bridge. And so where Greg is walking on top of that bridge is now a stream underneath it that runs from the biological wetland that's in the distance past the that American flag. So the pump, which sits over here in the intake bay in that pump vault, feeds underground. It goes adjacent to the house and goes to the upflow wetland filter near that flag and then flows in a stream which is about 25 feet long back to the pond. And the fish get fed from that bridge so they hang out there a lot which I don't mind because I get to see them from the house that way and it protects them from predators a lot because they spend their time waiting for a food to chow down on which as everybody knows, koi love to eat.
Hey guys. <laughs> yeah. I love yeah. him up by the pond. Look, especially because he loves to harass the fish. I think he feels that they're his playmates. And he can't figure out why they won't come out and play with him. <laughs> How old are they now? He's gonna be four next month. Uh-huh. Luke, a Skywalker. And that's <laughs> Lily, and Lily's going to be she is eleven now. And there's our impatience. Yeah, pretty amazing. They survived the freeze pretty well. This is about as nice of a front door as you could possibly have on a double wide trailer. <laughs> I don't think there's too many people anywhere that have this kind of entranceway to their trailer. So what kind of food do you use there, Pond Father? Best food on the market. I happen to have some cold water food because we have had some cold weather here, but the aquascape food is great. Very little waste and the fish absolutely love it. And I like the fact that because I have so many babies, I use the smaller kernels so that even the babies can get their fill. There's nothing that you could put in a yard that's gonna make more of an impact than a decorative water feature. And they can fit anywhere. Here, my dad lives in his retirement home down here. Not very retired, building ponds, but down here with a lot of retirees. Just look at how gorgeous that is. Imagine coming out to this every single day. This is what vacation should look like. It's so fun for me to come back and visit any pond we built, but certainly a pond that we built for Pond Father water features down here. This is a build a pond day. We do these all over the country with certified aquascape contractors. And I love coming back and seeing how lush, I mean, these, these plants we just picked up at the local Home Depot and look at them right now. And compare this yard compared to every other yard in the entire neighborhood. And nobody is gonna have something like this. You wanna get the neighbors jealous, get rid of the grass, put in a aquascape ecosystem ponds. The Dogs love it, the neighbors love it. Now that is a big gator. <laughs> I love these outdoor rooms down in Florida. Oh, doesn't this look so relaxing? Oh, and we got the sound of water. I wonder if this started at all. It's usually how it goes. Come in. Whoop. Welcome. What's up? What's up, Pop oh, yeah, Father? Holy cow, the greeting committee. <laughs> There's the boldest one right there. <laughs> So this was a preformed tub. Oh, no, no, this was a liner. It was okay. a pretty good liner, but the neighbor had built the pond for them and it was leaking and actually they didn't have filtration. They had a pressurized filter that was hard to maintain. So we completely tore out the old liner and put a new one in. And then over there, we added an intake bay to reduce the amount of maintenance. Right, because there's so much leaves down here with these big trees and stuff like that. And I can see all the leaves building up over here that just gotta be blown off. But boy, is that, is that a gorgeous waterfall. So oh, I love the little lizard here. You know I'm not in Illinois anymore. There's some goldfish, huh? A little goldfish pond? Oh, I didn't even see you over there. Hello! I'm the pond guy, Greg. Yes. Ah, this is my daughter, Crystal. Hi, Crystal. I'm the pond guy, Greg. Yep. Nice. Peruvian Inca orchids. Wow. Very Interesting rare, dogs. Rare breed, yeah. And you got two of them. Is that full size? Uh, no, they will get bigger. They're, okay. These guys are babies. So you come over and hang out with mom and listen to that sound of that waterfall. Oh, yeah. Huh? All the time. Pond Father water features came in here. What did you have and then how is it different now? What I had was a smaller pond. In fact, this is like the third or fourth pond I've had in large. Oh, really? And okay. every time I, I want it bigger and better and this man has hit it. But speaking of the leaves and stuff, how much maintenance is this one versus the other ones that you had? It's uh, no maintenance at all. No problem. I love the fact that we have the, the little drip that 
cancels out all the ammonia and stuff. You put in the automatic toaster. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, that just makes my heart feel better because my neighbor came over here one day and he, he said, I'm eliminating my pond, so I'm going to give you my fish. And then he got more fish. And so he starts dumping fish in there. So you have the auto doser that adds bacteria. Mm -hmm. And so the maintenance is very low for you. Absolutely. Nice. And uh, I do have a lot of leaves. And Nancy comes by with my pincher thing there and she pinches the leaves. But the leaves never stay in the actual pond pond. Everything gets moved back to, to the bay. intake bay. Yeah. 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 This is a truly incredible yard. Plantings everywhere, no grass whatsoever. We have some umbrella palms over here, bromeliads on the edge of the intake bay. And here's our intake bay, which collects most of the leaves. And over here, we have the auto doser. This is where all the leaves collect, but they're pretty easy. At least you have one central point where you can get everything out of here. But trees are wonderful to have too. I mean, look at the size of this tree. This pond was leaking. It had a plastic liner and an external pressurized filter that was very difficult to maintain. It was old, but it was almost impossible to turn the knobs to clean that filter out. And then they just had a pipe running over here. They really didn't have a waterfall. They just had a flow of water that came back into the pond. So we took the entire liner out, put a brand new liner in, and then over on the side where the pump sits is of course our intake bay. And because of the intake bay being so large, it doesn't have to be serviced very very often and it can actually last for months except for picking out the debris that gets swept off the surface of the pond. Beverly is thrilled with the low maintenance. There's a, a lot of goldfish in here but we have the automatic doser on here and wonderful ecosystem so it's able to handle this fish load quite comfortably.